One of the greatest things that you can have in life is your ability to think. Because a lot of things go wrong when people don't take right decisions. My name is Ayuli Jemide. I'm the lead partner of Detail Commercial Solicitors. So I'm a lawyer, I'm a commercial lawyer, and I lead a team of 23 lawyers, um, helping clients with their transactions and giving them day-to-day -day legal advice. At the time we started Detail in 2005, January, the entire legal profession was talking about inclusion, not exclusion. You wanted to have a, have a business that could serve every type of client. We sold to people that a full service firm is a conflict. If you're not in court, they make money. If you go to court, they make money. We came with a business model that said, no, we were more interested in exclusion. We didn't want to be everything to everybody, which was a model that ran against the grain at that time and still does, by and large. Uh, and people thought we were crazy. They said, you know, there's no way you will make it. My favorite thing to do is to go boating. I like to be on my boat and I like to have my camera with me because I like to follow the sunset. I think being on the water and at sea has many life lessons that you learn. Uh, first and foremost, it tells you that you are never really in control. Everything you do in life, there are always externalities. So when you're on the boat, you're always watching for the elements, the waves, the next boat coming, what's it going to do? You're watching out for the weather, is it going to rain? And then the tide itself, which is different from the waves, right? So if you're heading in a particular direction, you always have to watch the tide, right? Because sometimes you have to veer left and go against the tide to get to where you're going faster. So we stuck with this business model and it paid off. Uh, within five to six years, we were, you know, in a top tier, you know, ranked among the at law firms in Nigeria by chambers and partners and all the other ranking agencies. One thing I always say to people, and I, and I say it here, and I say it in my day-to-day -day life, is you know, if you want to take a decision, make it an informed decision. In the early days, one of our first breaks was a transaction we did for an Indian client who owned five breweries, and he sold all five of them to Heineken. Uh, it, it, to date, it's the biggest brewery transaction that we've seen in Nigeria. Uh, and in terms of impact, uh, from a regulatory standpoint, it was the first time that we had a law firm file a scheme of arrangement at the Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, it set that precedent against all odds, because when we filed the scheme of arrangement, the Securities and Exchange Commission said we were not allowed to do so by their rules, and we argued with them, right? Uh, because the rules didn't say so. This had just been their norm. So it was groundbreaking in the sense that it, it set that precedent because uh, SEC eventually agreed with us and changed their rules to make sure that there was clarity around the fact that a law firm um, could, could, could file the scheme of arraignment. And interestingly, while I was doing that transaction, I was in IE. So I was in school, sending emails, and then, you know, attending meetings, uh, you know, when I get back to Nigeria. And that was when I began to see the benefits of IE. There's an air of excellence when you go to IE. The faculty, the administrative team, you can see that people are constantly trying, you know, to do better things you know, and, and make sure that they do them better than they did the day before. I has a great reputation. So I, I think myself and all the other alums are proud uh, to, to associate ourselves with IE and to constantly uh, fly that banner. <laughs>